Yeah. You just gotta turn off the music for now. Don't wanna get any of this shit. Um, quieted during the YouTube export from um, Twitch to YouTube. Don't know why I just did that. But anyways, let's go back in the game, game. Game, 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 game. G -g 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 game. Let's do the motherfucking universe mode, nigga. <laughs> motherfucking Tyrese. Did I save it earlier? Yeah, I did. So now, currently, we're gonna do some. Motherfucking roster changes. Oh, man, it's superstar. Let's get rid of that, Evan, and let's add my motherfucking 99 from Korea. Motherfucker can go. Minimum total 39 show airing on Monday. Nine divas. Yeah, that's good. That got me some real competition. Sting that whole Hulk, where you have two Hulk Hogan's. All right, that's good enough. All right, that's good enough. NXT, we don't need anybody in NXT. Story options on The current champ. Smackdown with that auto filled. Um, Dean Ambrose with Fandango. That's good. That's fucking. Weird. That's stupid as shit. Let's do a championship. Okay, so we're gonna leave that out. Let's see where um, my current superstar is. Current ranking for the world. Jesus. All right, he's at rank 64 currently. That's just fucking beautiful. <laughs> um, we're not gonna have that shit continue. No, we're all right. No, the newest Evan is 52. Okay, so he's a 52. So, that's not bad. So, what we're going to have to do is be on excellent display. Oh, these are draft matches. Oh, I actually want to play some of these. These are really good. 
Um, Alright, let's continue. With... Let's fight the deepest match. No sexism up in this bitch. We like WWE. Well, you know, not WWE entirely, but kinda sorta. The following Divas contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Scottsdale, Arizona, Bree Bella. Oh, I am ready for this. And approaching the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte! Here we go! When you know that the name Bella is scheduled to be in a match, you have to see which one it is. And beware of what's known as twin magic. Man! Brie Bella's athleticism, high flying abilities, and submission holds. Make her a threat to any diva in WWE. Breeze of Italian and Latin heritage, so you can bet that when she gets fired up, oh, watch out. I wouldn't want to be her an opponent Shit. for any amount of money at that point. Avoids the impact there. The fuck? <laughs> Ow. And that's a stiff kick. Agility, her technical ability, and fearless flying has made her one of the most respected divas in the ring. When that bell rings, it's on. Really good community creation, Charlotte. Oh no! Oh! Great move. Oh! Oh! Did she take a shot there? Going all the way up. Playing my games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. She's going high risk again. Oh no! Yeah, that oh, was a oh, close nice. step. <laughs> oh, I don't just know. Like just like a father, good technical wrestler. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we still have what should be a tremendous main event to come. Friendships are gonna be tested. 
there's no telling how well those bonds will hold or if they even can hold over the course of our main event. I know fucking I did fuck that move guys. Bam! Ah, uh, things got really hot on WWE programming when Brie Bella debuted with her twin sister Nikki. The beauties invented the term twin magic and Brie was also diva champion. Since 2013, Brie's been a reality television star on WWE's Total Diva Show on the E! Network. That year she was also WWE Diva of the Year. Heading back up. No. Well, going to the top, high risk. Well, Bree was definitely exciting for everyone right off the bat. But don't you dare forget about yeah. Twin Magic. I've also made it very clear that if Bree needs help on Total Divas, I'm available. <laughs> it's important to help others. Look at this! Oh, you do not get up from that. Shoulders down. Bree Bella gets the win. And here's some highlights from the matchup. We got a couple of highlights here. Let's... Here is your winner, Bree Bella. Who is being drafted? Wow. That was not worth the draft pick, but okay, Jay. <laughs> you got a motherfucking really illegal. Really illegal. CM Punk versus the Dead Man. Yes. WrestleMania 29. Oh, fuck that. I, I want I need a ticker. As we get started here, King, what are some of your favorite Undertaker moments of the past 25 years? Oh, my gosh, Cole, are you kidding me? There's been so many. I'll never forget Undertaker versus Undertaker in 1994. Or when he threw Mankind off the cell in 1998. And, of course, his great run at WrestleMania's. The Undertaker is nearly seven feet tall and 300 pounds. I mean, he can choke slam the nearly 500 pound Big Show. Clear the top rope.